<laughs> see the circles. <laughs> see the Samsonite under here. Um, really, how Probably Martin? two, two <coughs> twenty two? hour days. Yeah, two like days that. from about um, noon till about eight in the morning. Twice. Yeah, it was Twice real, in a row. real nightmare. And of course, they'd saved all the close ups till the very last yeah. thing. <laughs> You know. Okay, now let's see your face. You Some know. real tired gal. Day two, you know. <laughs> it was great, though. We we learned a lot about, you know, what to, to demand next what time. What to demand next time, and and how to save money, and not not make a major budget motion picture for three minutes and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> Gone with the wind for three minutes. For three minutes. Yeah. I know you both have some individual projects going on, and why don't you tell us about what you're working on? Oh. I'm actually. My main project always is going to be hard, but um, what I've done apart from that is, is I've, I'm working on a screenplay uh, with the help of my friend Sue Innes and What's it hopefully called? Nance. What's I'm not sure, <laughs> no. but <laughs> it's too soon. But like, mm -hmm. um, I hope to someday make it into a film, you know, like either, and be in it. And um, I know nothing about direction and production at this point, but get with some people that know all that stuff and, and just try and plow ahead with it. And what about you, Nancy? Are you working on a children's project, right? Well, yeah, I call it a children's project because I don't like calling it a solo project because, again, you know, heart's my first love and my first... except for Wombi, the child here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it's sort of um, a fantasy story that kind of semi is semi-autobiographical as far as um, girls when they're real, like 10 years old, like I was, who who kind of think that they're a horse, you know, mm -hmm. and maybe even uh, have a, a big fantasy experience with a fantasy horse. And I've got um, everyone from Hearts going to contribute on this album. So this will be an album, a story on an album. Yeah. Right now, it's looking like it'll be an EP that fits into a a book cover which opens up and has all the artwork and the story all in one or an, an, a tape, you know, cassette with the book cover. So mostly sold in, in the children's department of record stores. You're about to leave on a U.S. tour. Do you still enjoy going on the road? <sighs> well, mm. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like it's, that's a loaded question, you know, because like we love to go on the road, but like it kind of depends on, on what day you ask us, how f far we are into the tour, what town we're in, <coughs> you know, who, how it's going, you know, like how yeah. tired we are if we're sick, <laughs> you know, all those things. <laughs> but I'd say, yeah. Next week on Rev, part two of our conversation with Ann and Nancy Wilson of Heart, in which they talk about living in Seattle, being sisters, and the lessons they've learned. Put Heart back on top. We thought we'd let you decide for yourself. Here's part two of a conversation that Rev's Marion Seymour Boyce had with them in the home of Nancy Wilson. Here you are, sisters, and you've lived together, obviously, for a long time, and you've worked together for a long time. Do you ever look at each other and say, you again? And go, yeah! No. <laughs> Ew. Never. <laughs> Never. There's so much love between us that they would give each other a lot of breaks and a lot of room. Yeah, plus we're yeah. so different in what we do and musical. The musical differences, too. We work together as musicians, and that kind of transcends a lot of other petty stuff. Yeah. Yeah. comfortable here enough oh, to like yeah. go shopping when yeah. you felt like it or yeah. go into a restaurant whenever yeah. yeah people here are just remarkably calm and, and cool and great like I live in the city and, and um, I can go to any restaurant and like they'll come up and they might get an autograph or something but like they don't hassle me or go Ugh, you know <laughs> and um, they're just cool you know it's just a great very uh, happening but same place to be, you know, it's so beautiful here too, like just uh, our surroundings, if you just look around yourself, I mean, it's, it's so beautiful. 
but I, yeah, I have to. What even happened? well, even Anne, who lives in the city, lives in a real secluded part, and, and I live out here in the boondocks with twelve horses and about five dogs and as many trees as possible. So and you do love animals, and you yeah. have and you have a lot of <laughs> animals. <laughs> yeah. Do you get to spend time with them? Yeah, yeah. a lot of time. Half, I drive half the time. Yeah, I drive out here almost well every other day, whenever I can, to ride my horse and Nancy and I ride together in the woods and in yeah. the ring and um we have there are so many horses out here now that it's like which one today yeah. <laughs> yeah but um it's mainly horses and dogs i think that are at the top of the list business is so up and down. Do you feel like over the years you've learned any important lessons? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I say yes. Maybe. Especially last year when our last album didn't do so well. It was like, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> you, you're, you're really huge except for now. And so, like, you know, we really had to go, well, this thing is very transitory. It's possible that, hey, we're fallible, you know. Mm -hmm. And, um, and okay, we have these big lifestyles that we have to support now, and, and this is really terrible. And, and we all really cut back. We all really went bam down to earth, you know. And, mm -hmm. Sorry, one. And like, um, it was a very, very great. <laughs> that sounds real '60s, but Bill's character. It's, it's a far out learning experience, you know, <laughs> when you flop. And so that's oh, what happened, on, though. You know, we didn't flop. Well, no, that's a lot of groups didn't even get their albums on the chart that yeah. year. Well, and don't forget the economy. Come on. And we still And let's not forget tickets. the vinyl shortage. <laughs> well. You know, videos are really a trip. Making them. Yeah. Because it's a major ordeal. <laughs> it makes you wonder how anyone can ever make a movie, like a full-length movie. But we had a, a near accident on the set of Allies. A couple days ago. If I if I That's tell okay, this I'm alive too. horrific story. Well, it was like um, six in the morning and we'd just been shooting all night and everyone was just so tired. It was one of those things where you're so tired that, that you're in a dream. You just don't even believe that you're alive. It's just like <laughs> you're dreaming. And, and Nancy and I were on stage doing a take where I was um, way in the back of the stage, you know, like way back in the back of the stage singing to this cityscape, you know, and then Nance was at the piano in the foreground facing out, and all of a sudden you hear this big crash, and one whole wall of the set has fallen and missed Nance by about this much, yeah. just like, bam! So, you know? I still got him, and I she was goes, out of there, I was like, <laughs> hey, see you guys later, yeah, I'm uh, it's going a wrap. home now, <laughs> <My> martini shot, <laughs> I'm on my way home. <laughs> <laughs>